The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking for a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow their competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Widener Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a wonderful lady from Bay City, California, who's a singer, songwriter, multi talented musician and an activist increased interest in increasing gender and racial diversity and equity and equality. We'll talk about that in a few minutes as well, too. She uh, released her first EP in 2018. She's also got a few singles out, and we'll play one that is focusing on the current pandemic right now. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the city of the Bay, they call Bay City, California, from the Plush Studios, ladies and gentlemen, singer, songwriter, multi-talented, and activist, Tess Posner. Tess, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. 
Thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, it's great to have you on board, too. So you're a singer, songwriter, multi-talented musician, and an activist, increasing in gender and racial diversity and equality as well, too. And you also have um, a couple of singles out right now, and you also have um, your first EP in 2018, and you um, have a very interesting background as well, too, a very unique uh, blend. And before we get into all that, tell us how you first got started. Yeah, well, I was really excited about music when I was about 11 or 12. I remember getting my first karaoke machine and learning how to play the piano. And I would just sing for, you know, hours and hours in my bedroom, probably annoyed my parents and everybody (laughs) in the neighborhood. But it was really my dream to become a singer. And I was so passionate about it. I would just get lost in it completely. And then I really put it a aside for many years and I pursued a completely different career, which as you mentioned is in the nonprofit and activist space, um, really focused and passionate about racial justice and equity issues and have been for a while. And I kind of put music on the back burner, but I recently got back into it and I've just completely fallen in love with it again. And it was like reclaiming this kind of lost dream from my childhood, which has been probably one of the best things I've done and I don't regret it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it made a really good choice. And what was that one moment that precisely influenced you into what you're doing today? What was that one aha moment for you? Well, my, I have this amazing singing coach who I decided, okay, I'll take singing lessons again. This is something I loved as a kid. I'll get back into it. And she gave me this amazing tool that I think originated out of The Artist's Way. Have you ever read that book? The Artist's Way? Um, No, I haven't, but uh, I'll be happy to check it out when we're done. It sounds like an interesting book. Yeah, so there's this exercise where you write in the morning for 20 minutes, stream of consciousness, like without looking at it. And you do that for, let's say, four to six weeks. And then you look back at it and you look for what my singing teacher called lightning lines, Hmm. places where you think, oh, that's interesting. That what does that mean? What is that all about? Let me dig into that. And I did that and I was shocked at what I found, like the amount of inspiration and darkness and all these deep things that I, you know, had explored in different ways, but not from a songwriting perspective just was completely amazing. And so that's what really sparked me and said, maybe I could write songs. Maybe I should go forward with this. And since then, it's just been an incredible journey. Mm -hmm. You you talked about having things that are dark and deep and everything else. Was this all from the past, from your childhood or bad experiences or anything like that? Some of it, yeah. I mean, and some of it's also, you know, being in the world around – being an activist around gender and racial equity, there's things that are frustrating about that work that are dark, that are very challenging, where you think you've made progress, but you haven't, or there's just like so many barriers that for me is a real outlet for some of those emotions. And just, you know, when you feel like the world is dark, you need to build hope in yourself and you need to be able to express those things and put them out there Um, and that's what songwriting does for me. And so I often write about those experiences or just things that I've experienced in the past that I need to explore more deeply and put it into music, which is very healing. Mm -hmm. And that's what you base on most of your um, lyrics on is what you experience in in your writings. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's how it started, but it's evolved past that. I think because at first I was writing a lot about my own journeys with my work around like women's empowerment and gender equity. And that was during like the whole me too movement coming out. And that was really amazing to write about. But now I think I've started to explore different topics and that's been really exciting to Mm -hmm. um, just to expand the repertoire. And and what prompted you to become an activist? Um, When I was in high school, this was after I wanted to be a singer. I um, traveled to El Salvador after this devastating earthquake to build houses Mm -hmm. um, with Habitat for Humanity. And that experience really shifted my view of the world and seeing how incredibly 
privileged I was to have an education and access to clean water and healthcare and all these things that we take for granted, like in the U S for example. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I was really at that point became passionate about making change, making positive change in the world and finding the best ways to do that. So it was definitely, um, always a passion of mine that has I've been very lucky to live out in a lot of my experiences since then. Mm-hmm. And, and, and um, in terms of uh, being in El Salvador as well, too, how's that compared to the United States in terms of everything else? And have you been to other countries doing some missionary work and uh, activism? I've done a lot of the work um, in the U.S. because I actually think there's, as we're seeing now, a lot of inequities right here, like around healthcare, education, all these systems that have been plagued with racism and injustice for hundreds of years um, that needs to be addressed. But in El Salvador, after the earthquake, you know, there wasn't a lot of infrastructure for health care. And, you know, a lot of the families that we were working with had been completely displaced and were homeless because of this disaster. And so working with them and getting to actually build a house with them was really amazing because you get to know the culture and all of that. But a lot of the work I think needs to come back right to where we are and where we're positioned to make an impact in our daily lives, which I think is really important rather than going and traveling and trying to do it elsewhere, which isn't, you know, my home or my community. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like what happened in El Salvador dealing with the issues we have in the U.S. is a lot easier than what we're dealing with here. Well, I wouldn't say it's easier or harder necessarily. I think that these issues, unfortunately, plague every place, you know, and it's easiest for us, I think, to try to make a difference where we can. And so you don't even have to be out building houses. You can do it just in your interactions with people at home or at work or, you know, whatever whatever it is that you're doing, I think everybody can make a positive impact in these issues Mm -hmm. and uh also before we get to your song how can uh, one how can one help well it depends i'd I'd say like a lot of people like especially the younger generations are so passionate these days about making an impact and we've seen that with like the recent protests for black lives matter for example or people getting involved in green justice and environmental movements that finding a cause that you're passionate about that really connects with your skill set and your unique um, purpose in the world that I think can be the most fulfilling and a way to also make be sustainable about it because a lot of these problems are gigantic and they're going to take years to address and so you kind of have to be in it for the long haul and finding something that you're really passionate about whether it's getting involved in your local community or something that's more on a broader scale. I think everybody can find that like unique blend of who they are and what they're passionate about and making positive impact Mm -hmm. in the world. Uh, And also we'll talk about one of your songs in just a minute as well too, making an impact. But first listen to the Mike Wagner show at the Mike Wagner show.com powered by Sonic web studios. Visit online at Sonic web studios.com for all your needs. Look on professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic web studios is the answer. Sonic web studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today. 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Nine six zero or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with singer, songwriter, multi-talented, and activist Tess Posner here on the Mike Wagner Show from Bay City, California. And before we get to your song, Vertical, here on the Mike Wagner Show, and who are some of your favorite artists, singers, and musicians growing up? Well, growing up, I was super influenced by actually classical music. Um, That's how I originally learned the piano, learning like Mozart and Beethoven pieces. And so I got really immersed in like the music theory piece. Um, And then growing up, I mean, some of my biggest influences are like Radiohead, um, Bob Dylan, the Beatles, old classics, Mm -hmm. um, as well as 
you know, Fiona Apple is also a big hero of mine. She just came out with a new album recently, which I absolutely love. Um, so I, I like a wide variety of genres, but I'd say I first started with like classical music, which really influenced how I approach songwriting now. And I tend to have a very cinematic approach that uh, I think is influenced by those early years of learning. And who would you say your favorite uh, classical composer is? Um, oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I would say Rachmaninoff piano um, music is like probably some of my biggest inspirations. And I play the piano, so that's always a favorite, as well as Beethoven sonatas. Um, but it's it's really hard to pick. <laughs> Uh huh. And you also started singing in coffee shops as a teenager, and you released your first EP in 2018. You can uh, tell us about some of that. Yeah, I was really excited about again being a singer when I was in my early teen years, and would just do some singing around the community, and started to get my um, some experience with performing, which I absolutely loved. And then in, in 2018, I released my first EP ever. And since then, have been doing a bunch of different projects and singles with different um, producers, and that's been really amazing. So the first EP was called 1,000 Petals, and it's super interesting. That was only like a year and a half ago, but it's funny to look back and see how far I've come since then, and the kinds of stuff that I'm doing now is already pretty different than that. Mm -hmm. And you also have a couple of singles as well, too. You've got Ocean. We're going to play Vertigo in just a minute. But first, listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look on a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with singer, songwriter, multi-talented musician, and activist Tess Postner here on the Mike Wagner Show. Right now, here's one of her songs, Vertigo, from her one of her releases right here on the Mike Wagner Show. It's Vertigo from Tess Postner.
And that's Vertigo from Tess Posner here on the Mike Wagner Show. Tess, tell more about that song and uh, what inspired you to write it? Well, it was my first song that I wrote um, during the pandemic. And it started when everything was shutting down in March. I It was like the whole entire world changed almost overnight. And it was this feeling of the ground coming out under our feet and like what is happening what's going to happen, so much uncertainty. And so vertigo is really about that feeling of like almost dizziness from all the change that is going on in the world and that nobody really knows what's going to happen or how it's going to affect us. And so not only did I write it about the pandemic, but I was also on a total lockdown while I wrote it and recorded it in my home bedroom recording studio that I'd just set up like a week prior so it, it all very much came out of this moment um, of feeling that sense of vertigo and change and then also um, experiencing what it's like to be a musician from your bedroom. Mm-hmm. And, and I think a lot of people are experiencing as well, too, which is becoming the new norm, as they say. You also have a single out called Ocean as well, too, as part of your package. And uh, tell us more about that song. Yeah, that song came out in February, which you know, feels like five years ago. (laughs) (laughs) Everything did during the pandemic. What are you talking about? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Uh, So it's crazy. But yeah, that song is a super fun one. It's a little more dancey. It has a sort of syncopated beat in the chorus, which I, I really like. And that one really is about the fear that our big emotions will overwhelm us that sometimes it can feel like scary to feel something that's bigger than you, kind of like being in the ocean where it's very beautiful and it's very, can be very serene and very vast, but it can also swallow you up and drown you. Mm -hmm. Um, And so that's, you know, the chorus is my heart is like an ocean that that's really trying to express something about, um, riding the waves of your emotions. Mm-hmm. And that's very true as well, too. And what's coming up for Tess Poster in 2020 and beyond? We'll find out in just one minute. First, you listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's one 800 3 Three three nine six zero or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with singer, songwriter, multi-talented musician, and activist Tess Poster here on the Mike Wagner Show from beautiful California. And before we wrap up here, Tess, we'd love to have back on in 2020 and beyond. What can we expect from you in the future? Yeah, so I have another <clears throat> single coming out, which I'm really excited about on July 31st. It's called Say It, and it's coming out on Spotify and all platforms And this one was also written and recorded in the pandemic. And Mm -hmm. yeah, super exciting working with my producer, Arthur Pingree, who's from New York City. And I also have a bunch of, uh, I've been doing live stream shows, just trying to embrace the uh, loss of live music and instead of doing it from my living room. So I've done already a bunch of concerts there and will continue to, as well as having several other projects lined up for August and beyond that I'm super excited to share. And looking forward as well, too. We'd love to have you back and keep us updated. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? In my career, that's a great question. I'd have to say um, my singing teacher, I have to give her so much credit for just helping me believe in myself and that it was really possible. Her name's Danielle Opresti, and she really helped me you know, take that first step in the songwriting journey. I'd always been really passionate about singing, but hadn't written my own songs. And sometimes it takes someone to just tell you, hey, you can do this. You have something that the world needs to hear. So go for it. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, very important as well, too. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? 
Well, it sounds cliche, but never give up. I think being a musician is about picking yourself up from disappointments and failures and continuing to believe in yourself and continuing to always learn and improve and keeping an open mind. Um, it's such a exciting and amazing and fulfilling path, but it's also really hard, especially as an indie musician. And there's so many different things you have to learn. You basically have to be an entrepreneur and a marketer in this, in today's world. And I think to me, that's exciting. And, you know, a lot of musicians are really good at that because it's creative, but it can also be hard. So just continue to believe in your dream and me coming back to it after many years is just proof that you know, your dreams are still alive and they're somewhere you can resurrect them at any time. And that's tried and true as well. Once again, Tess Posner, singer, songwriter, multi-talented musician and activist on the Mike Widener Show. Tess, a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. And um, one more thing before we go, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you and where can people purchase or listen to your music? Yeah, great. So a single coming out July 31st, and you can find that on all platforms. Uh, my website is TessPosner.com. You can also find me on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon, Deezer, Tidal, all the platforms. Uh, and go and hit me up on Instagram, too. I'm pretty active on there doing um, Instagram Lives, as well as on Facebook at Tess Posner Music. Sounds great, Tess. Again, Tess, a big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2020 and beyond. You've been great. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.